China has flown 10 aircraft including fighter jets into Taiwan's airspace just a day after the UK, US and Australia signed a defense pact to push back against Beijing. Taipei said two J-11 fighters, six J-16 fighters, one Y-8 anti-submarine plane, and one Y-8 spy aircraft entered its air defense identification zone near Prada's island today. Fighter jets were scrambled to turn the aircraft back, while radio warnings were also broadcast and missile defense systems activated to monitor the situation. Taiwan scrambled fighter jets and activated its missile defenses today to drive away what it said were 10 Chinese aircraft that encroached into its airspace plus four. Taiwan scrambled fighter jets and activated its missile defenses today to drive away what it said were 10 Chinese aircraft that encroached into its airspace. Details of the flights published by Taiwan's defense ministry show the Chinese fighters briefly skirted into the defense zone before turning back. But the spy plane and anti-submarine aircraft made a longer route, flying several miles along Taiwan's south coast before turning around and heading away. The island's government has complained for a year of repeated missions by China's air force near its borders, often in the southwestern part of its air defense zone close to Taiwan-controlled Prada's island. Self-governing Taiwan, which is home to the Republic of China, which fought against the Communist Party when it first emerged, views itself as an independent state, but Beijing views it as a breakaway province. It has long-standing ties with the US, which historically recognized it as the legitimate government of China. Tensions around the island have been mounting since President Xi Jinping vowed in 2019 to reunify Taiwan with the Chinese mainland, using force if necessary. The standoff entered a new phase on Thursday when Australia, the UK and US announced a new defence pact to share military technology that will include giving Australia its first fleet of nuclear submarines. Beijing reacted angrily to the deal, denouncing the Allies' Cold War mentality while warning it risks stability in the region and could make Australia the target of a nuclear strike. Shortly after the alliance was announced, Australian Defence Minister Peter Dutton admitted that war with China is possible with Taiwan likely to be the flashpoint. The deal is about securing peace in the region, Mr Dutton insisted, but added that the odds of a conflict with China shouldn't be discounted. The Chinese are very clear of their intent with regard to Taiwan and the United States has been very clear of their intention toward Taiwan, he said. Nobody wants to see conflict, but that really is a question for the Chinese. The incident came a day after Taiwan proposed extra defense spending of $9 billion over the next five years, including on new missiles, warning of an urgent need to upgrade weapons in the face of a severe threat from China. Peter Dutton, Australia's defense minister, warned that war with China is possible after signing joint defense deal with the UK and America. Speaking earlier on Friday, Taiwan Premier Su Zengchang said the government had to take the threat from China seriously. The Chinese communists plot against us constantly, he said. Taiwan's defense spending is based on safeguarding national sovereignty, national security, and national security. We must not relax. We must have the best preparations so that no war will occur, he added. China's government, for its part, criticized Taiwan Foreign Minister Joseph Wu on Friday for comments this week in which he said Taiwan was a sea fortress blocking China's expansion into the Pacific. Wu's aim is to deceive public opinion, to rope in and collude with anti-China foreign forces, China's Taiwan Affairs Office said in statement.
Channel 16, calling you on channel 16. 